Barbarians are doing hundreds of million, no, even up to billions of damage now. It's about time, let's see just how it's happening. What up team, it is Winter Rank back with another Diablo 4 video talking about barbarians. Something happened with the patch yesterday. Everyone's been talking about the patch. I made a video about the patch. So what is the deal? How have things gotten this, this crazy? So that's what we're gonna talk about here. Let's start off with this clip of me fighting Lilith here so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. It starts off as a pretty normal fight. And you start seeing the the bleed bar as of right now there's nothing too crazy happening it's taking damage now we have that bleed bar right so all of that damage just got accumulated here and you're gonna see one big smack all the way down to the bottom making us kill lilith in five six seven seconds this is not normal, and this is all because of one of our aspects that have been disabled for the entirety of Season 1 pretty much. It was just turned back on, and this is what we got. Now, is this going to remain this way? I highly doubt it. I highly doubt it. This does not look intentional at all. What it's doing is, and I'll get into that in a second here, and kind of just to clarify what I'm talking about, we're going to see it again here. The Barber is procking Berserk Ripping because it's counting as physical damage here. So you'll see when he comes back, his health just goes to zero and I just stand behind him and die because if I'm going to kill Uber Lilith, it's not going to be like this, right? I want to do the fight how it's intended to be done and I get it. Other classes are doing it this fast. You don't have to be a good player to kill Uber Lilith on most classes. Barbarian, you do. You have to know all the mechanics. So that's just my personal take here. If you're going to kill Uber Lilith with this, to each their own. Just for me, I'd rather do it the correct way and not have to skip every single mechanic because I'm not a good enough player. So let's talk about what isn't working here. Or I should say, what's not working as intended. So I have Berserk Ripping. Whenever you deal direct damage while berserking, inflict 60% of the base damage dealt as bleeding damage over 5 seconds. So what is it considering direct damage? You guessed it, the Barber Explosion. So now it's taking the Barber Explosion, 60% of that, putting it as a bleed. Then Barber is still running, so it's taking those massive bleeds adding it into the next Barber Explosion, and it's just this cascading effect that goes all the way up to a billion damage, which leads to Lilith just getting one shot, and we don't even get to see the numbers most of the time, because the Barber Malignant Heart is just absorbing all of the damage, and not only that, it's also, where is it, increasing it by 15% multiplicative, I'll scroll down a bit here, you can get 13, 14, or 15, and I have 15 here, so on top of the insane damage, it's being multiplied per second. And of course, I have a 2.51. Four, you would get the highest damage, but you're just going to phase Lilith so quickly. Now, this can be used, or I should say abused, in any single build. Just put Berserk Ripping on a build, and it's going to work like this if you have the Barber. If you don't have the Barber, it's not going to work like this. So, this is the current update in the state of things besides the pretty obvious double swing got buffed. It was already the best build and now it's still the best build. Whirlwind, every other single build is pretty much in the same spot. There are some things to talk about as far as upheaval goes. And then again, if you just use Berserk Ripping with upheaval, it becomes a totally viable build. The one notable change they did make is Violent Upheaval. Now it applies Berserking for two seconds while you hit bosses. So if this is something you can spam, of course, you're going to have very high uptime. There are a few other bugs, one specifically with Unconstrained here, how the damage bonus just keeps multiplying. But we can get into that another time because that damage is nowhere near the current Berserk Ripping. So we'll see how long it takes them to patch this. I would imagine it's not going to be too long here because the damage we're seeing from Uber Lilith is not normal. I mean, we're barbarians. I get any damage above 100 million is not normal, but it's not normal. So they're going to have to figure out a way to gently nerf this 
in all reality, I hope they don't do this, but what's likely going to happen is they're just going to disable it again. That's the most disabled. Well, maybe Edge Master, but I think Berserk Ripping is the most disabled aspect in the entire game. Just because they can't seem to quite get a grip on how to code things, how not to code things, and make it so this aspect doesn't just break the game for Barbarians. Do I think it's too strong? Yes. Would I like to meet them halfway? Of course I would. I think that's pretty obvious. I think the first initial explosion from the Barber procking Berserk Ripping should be fine here. But they're going to have to figure out a way to not make that bleed scale with Barber in additional time so it just cascades like that because it is going to trivialize pretty much every single piece of content and we don't want them determining our strength based around an aspect because what happens next season when the barber is no longer here we're just going to be extremely weak so it's better if they fix it now and then buff us properly instead of buffing double swing for literally no reason since it was already the top build here they need to buff the single target of whirlwind they need to buff him and the Ancients is in a good spot. I think we could have done with a little bit more damage. The one major thing they did was, as we can see on this aspect, I have 116%. Him and the Ancient Quakes for outward damage. Now the issue with this, from what I've seen, is controller players cannot, I guess, shift target, which means they can't just slam their hammer anywhere. So if you're just hitting the target, you're not even going to notice this I guess benefit to hammer the ancients because the main target you're hitting isn't going to get by a quake it's not quite as bad as the corner thing but you just can't directly hit a target to get this 116 percent bonus because again this is only the outward quake from hammer the ancients so that's kind of my rundown so far here this is absolutely busted and i look forward to seeing what they do do i have faith they're going to fix this properly no they're probably just going to disable it and we're going to go another one, two, three weeks with the aspect disabled and we'll have to see from there. So that's going to conclude the video. Let me know if you enjoyed this content. Smash that like button, hit the subscribe button, and I will see you all in the next upload.